Hey guys, it's Jaybird here, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to install my custom claymores. So these are the claymores that I modeled way back in spring, but uh, also it's a modified script from Leviathan, but I ended up creating a video a while ago on me using these claymores. They've been updated since then, they now have a HUD, they also have better sounds, better effects and whatnot. So I hope you guys enjoy the claymores, and let's jump into it. But what we're going to do is just start off by downloading this RAR file that I included in the description below. Once you do that, open it with WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever and just drag the contents, that just one folder out, and just open it up. So once you've got that folder, uh, if you want to follow the text file here, I've documented how to install it using that. but you can also use this tutorial as well. So what you're going to want to do is just go to your map, say I'm going to install it on my test map, you're going to want to open up your zone folder, or zone file here. So I'm just going to get rid of uh, some of the lines here so I'm starting off blank like you guys because I've already kind of installed it here. So what I'm going to want to do is just add a couple lines in here. I have them included in uh, the readme here so it's really, really quick. I just copy and paste. So if you want to grab them really quick, they're just these ones right here. So it'll say step three, copy this, all good. So we kind of went over a couple other steps there, but uh, the other thing that I'm going to want you to do is just open up your root folder so you can get to it by going show zone folder and then go back to Black Ops 3. So everything that's going to get dropped in here basically includes all these folders except for user maps. So select all of these folders, copy that, or even just drag it right onto your root folder. I've already got all the files, so you just want to put those in there. And then once you've done that, open up the user maps folder and go to the user maps folder here and find your map. So mine's going to be ZM test and then scripts, ZM. You're going to want to copy over the Claymore script. I'm just going to do it again because I might have had an older version in here. Uh, so there you go. That's steps 1, 2, and 3 cleared. So now what we're going to do is open up our maps GSC file. So that includes, uh, if you go to user maps, your map, go to scripts, ZM, and then your map name .gsc. That's the file that we're going to be opening up. So if you open that up, what you'll get is your maps GSC, so same uh, script that we used in the, the zoning tutorial. But what we're going to want to do, I've already added it here, but basically anywhere up where all the using stuff is, where it says using and then a script name, you're going to want to do uh, basically pound using scripts ZM and then ZM underscore claymore and then a semicolon. I have the line included in the readme file as well, so you can just basically copy and then paste the file, or the line. So there you go, we got that line done. The next thing we want to do is we're going to add the thread an include line, or not an include line, but basically a, a threading function. So we're going to thread the, the first function of my script, so we're going to go into the main function. And just to make it simple, you could do it almost anywhere in here, but let's just have it right below the zone manager line. So make a couple extra lines there by clicking enter and then we'll go uh, we'll go thread and then zm underscore claymore colon colon in it and then uh, open parenthesis, close parenthesis and then semicolon. If you want it even easier, I've included the line in the readme file, just copy the line and then paste it in. So there we go. Now this script is going to be calling our other script. We've also got it in here, so the script is going to run as well. So that's all good. So that is basically the scripting side of things. Then we're going to have to set up the sounds as well. So if you go back to your user map name, so Black Ops 3, user maps, your map, go to sound, zone config, 
and then we're gonna wanna open up ZM test SC, SZC. So right click on that. And since I don't have this opening in Sublime, I'm gonna, and any other files, if you guys haven't set up Sublime yet, watch my Sublime tutorial, it'll be down in the description, but this will be just really quickly how to make it. So Sublime will automatically read these files. So I'm gonna go to properties, change, and then I'm gonna just find Sublime. If it's not here, you can go all the way down to the bottom and find it manually. But we'll hit OK, Apply, OK. So now the, these files will open in Sublime. So I'm gonna click on this and open it. And here we go. OK, so when you get your file, this is what yours will be like. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you'll see there's these last two lines here. And the third last line will have uh, a brace and then a, a comma there. Hit enter to create a new line and then you're gonna want to copy the the code that I included in the readme file which is right here so we're on step six here open the SCZ file and then there's this code right here copy this and then where we just created our new line on line 30 paste it so it should go uh, close brace comma open brace all of this text close brace comma and then the square brace. So that should be exactly how it's done. You'll notice how it goes open brace and then close brace here and then everything else is in the middle. So open brace, close brace, open brace, close brace. So if you mess up, just make sure that's in this format. So you're gonna wanna save, make sure you're saving all these files by the way. So save the, uh, the zone file, the GSC and the SCZ file. Um, and then the last thing, you're gonna just wanna jump into your map. So we're gonna just jump into ZM test really quick and open up Radiant. And then just place the Claymore prefab that I added in. And then that's it. You should be good to go and you'll have Claymores installed. Okay, we got Radiant open now and I'm just gonna really quickly get rid of my prefab so I'll show you how to add it in. So you're gonna want to uh, just right click at the top here and go prefab browser, then go to weapons which I actually did not install it correctly because I have mine in a different location so what I'm gonna really quickly do is copy the map source where is it right there you know my black ops 3 so this is just really extra you guys already had done this stuff so two seconds here so there we go I'm gonna just jump back and radiant hit reload okay so here we go now we're set up uh, when you go to prefabs you should have a weapons folder here. If you open that up and you hit, uh, you drag claymores on, you can just place it in your map. Oops, I'm hitting T accidentally when I'm trying to rotate. So basically the way that I have this set up, if I get out of game view, we have this green clip, the traverse. If you put this right up onto the wall, then it's perfectly lined up. Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> It should be lined up when it's slightly in, but you can see this uh, the the patch here with the the actual chalk texture. I usually try to put about a 0.25 offset for that, but you want to make sure that the smaller uh, brush here, the trigger, is facing out of the wall, and the the traverse brush is in the wall. So there we go, guys. That's gonna be it for this tutorial. Once you uh, save your map, you close it, and you just compile then you're basically good to go there's claymores i hope you guys enjoy and i can't wait to see what you guys create all right don't forget to comment rate and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one see ya